But first tonight, a Northwest D.C. woman says she was assaulted by a stranger while sleeping in her own bed. D.C. police are now investigating, and tonight the woman is speaking exclusively with Fox 5's David Kaplan. He joins us live in Northwest for this story. David? Rob, good evening to you. There were many especially brazen parts of these allegations, one of which is the fact that it happened very close to where I'm standing now, Metropolitan Police's District 3 headquarters. That victim, who Fox 5 is not identifying tonight because she is a victim of sexual assault, says she was fast asleep in her own bed at 3 a.m. when she was woken up by someone she didn't know touching her. He wasn't violent or aggressive. Um, I just have a feeling that he's been watching me and he may also be watching other people because it seems like a very bizarre individual and something to do. And it, it wasn't just a breaking and entering. The victim woke up, started yelling, and chased the suspect out of the townhome. The victim says she believes she was targeted for a couple of reasons. Her room isn't the closest to the stairs the suspect came up. No other roommates' rooms appear to have been disturbed. She says she wants to catch whoever did this to protect herself and others. She says she's thankful he wasn't violent. He was mumbling and just apologizing. So, I mean, I'm grateful that. Obviously, like it, he could have, you know, um, been violent. And uh, so I'm grateful for that. But with that being said, it just seems like someone who definitely has some issues and is not a violent person, but is like watching. We know D.C. police are continuing an investigation tonight. They are saying this is a sexual abuse as well as a burglary investigation. The victim telling us tonight police were looking to get surveillance video along the U Street corridor at 3 a.m. on this past Saturday. Again, this investigation continues. If we learn anything new, we'll be sure to pass that along to you. Back to you. David Kaplan in Northwest Force tonight. David, thank you.